Hey YouTube, it's your I'm Gal Lena Ma, and I'm sorry this is very overexposed. It's mainly to show my hair. So if you can tell from the title of this video, this is my current hair care routine. And if you've been following me on Instagram, um, then you know I've been going through a natural hair journey at the moment. Um, sorry if this is shaky, I'm using my hands. There's a mess in the background. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more candid and a bit real. Um, anyway, back to the hair story. So I have been straightening my hair for many, many years now. Uh, I did leave it curly a few years back. If you followed my channel for a while, then you might recognize my hair when it looked like this. I'll try and leave some pictures. Um, but then I got it cut quite short and I didn't really know how to style it with my natural texture. It just didn't look right because my curls are quite big. So I was just getting sort of like one bend in them. It just wasn't working. So now that it's a little bit longer, I don't know, I've just decided I want to wear it natural. Now I've only been, I wouldn't say I'm religiously following the curly girl method. If you don't know what that is, just Google search it. Otherwise this video is gonna be far too long. But yeah, I've kind of been following the curly girl method. I say kind of because I did diffuse my hair. Now I have to diffuse it because it takes forever to dry. 24 hours is not enough time for my hair to dry. So I have been diffusing it. I'm still figuring out what products to use, uh, ingredients, shampoos, etc. So right now I'm using what I have, but I have made a purchase from, I think Only Curls London, and I'll let you know how I get on with that. But I'm gonna show you what I do uh, to get this. Now it's not perfect. Of course there are much nicer curly curly haired girls out there and guys um but this is just sort of like the start of my journey it hasn't even been a month and already i can see progress like there's definitely there's definitely curls there they're happening and i really can't wait to see what my hair looks like in a few months time so if you want to see what i've been doing so this is my hair on day three and it's been in a pineapple whilst I was sleeping. So when I first take it out, it does look a little bit crazy. And as you can tell, there's some pretty straight pieces at the back where there's quite a lot of heat damage. But hopefully with time, we'll take care of that. Um, but as you guys can see, once it's settled and I've had it down for a little bit, it does kind of go back to where it's supposed to sit. And yes, the water is always too cold in the shower. <laughs> So I'm going to start off by washing my hair once I get the water to the right temperature. First off, I'm going to soak my hair with water. I probably don't need to tell you how to wash your hair, but yeah. I'm using this Maui Moisture Sheer Butter, Sheer Moisture, this Maui, Maui Moisture Shampoo. I'm going to leave all the product names in the description. And this is sulfate free, paraben free. Um, I'm not sure what else free, but yes, if you're a curly head girl, ditch any shampoos that have sulfates, parabens, silicones, all of that bad stuff. Um, yeah, shower got a little bit steamy. Now I'm going to move on to the conditioner again by Maui Moisture. Haven't been using this for very long, but already I'm liking it. And yes, I know this looks like a lot of product, but just remember I have been straightening my hair and there is a lot of heat damage so it does need that moisture and I'm just putting that all over and I know we often get told to just put conditioner on the ends of our hair but reading the curly girl book um, it does say to put conditioner on everywhere especially where you get the most frizz and for me that's sort of towards the top of my head Whilst the conditioner is on, I will just detangle my hair using a wide tooth comb. Pick this one up pretty cheap off Amazon. And I'm being really, really gentle with my hair at this point, because I don't want to damage the curl pattern. And I tend to leave the conditioner on for a few minutes before I rinse it out. Some days I might just leave it on completely but today I am going to wash it out and any excess conditioner that's on the comb, I'm just popping that on top and then I'm rinsing that out. Some days when I don't want to rinse out completely, 
I'll just put my head kind of close to the shower and sprinkle some water on it like you guys can see and then I'm just squeezing out any moisture but not too much because my hair has to be completely soaking wet before I put any product in it and as soon as I'm out the shower I'm going to pop in my leave-in conditioner now I normally do this over the bath because you'll see there's a lot of mess but this is the only routine that seems to be working now I'm using this one by as I am and I'm placing quite a generous amount all over my soaking wet hair this is a Denman brush and again I'm just being very very light with my hand and brushing out any tangles and for me I have to brush it at this point otherwise I get a really really weird parting but otherwise you can just skip this bit or just finger comb Once that's combed through, I'm, yes, going to take more leave-in conditioner and using prayer hand motions, as you guys can see, I'm just placing that all over and this is just going to help with any frizz and give my hair that much needed moisture. And then I'm using this pulsing technique or squish to condition, some people like to call it, where I just scrunch the hair and you can do this with a bowl underneath and any product that's left in the bowl you can kind of dip your hair into it but for the sake of this video I'm doing this in my bedroom but I would advise you do this in the shower if you can <laughs> then I'm taking a microfiber towel if you have curly hair it's important to use a microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt to not damage your hair and I'm just tying it very loosely not too tight because I don't want to break up that curl pattern again. Once that's been on for about 10 minutes, I'm using this Keracare Defining Custard. I've been using this for a long time and I've not really found many gels that work as well as this one for my hair, but I will be trying out new products. So any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. And just like the leave-in conditioner, I'm using prayer hand motions to start with and then a scrunching motion just so I can get that curl to form and just really make sure that the product is in there and that you're squishing it in then I'm going to flip my hair back and I'm going to look a little bit mad when I do this but I'm just gonna shake my hair because as you guys can see the back of it's getting a little bit matted and sort of knotted together so just shaking that out and then you can leave that to air dry if you've got enough time but most days I do tend to diffuse my hair and this one is again a pretty cheap one that I picked up from Amazon I'm sure you can get better ones than this but it works just fine and I tend to keep this on a medium heat and as I'm moving with the diffuser I turn it off in between and this is again just to help with any frizz some people don't need to do that but for my hair I found that this technique works particularly well rather than just leaving the diffuser to blast throughout if that makes any sense and again make sure you don't really touch the hair too much because that will cause a frizz and turn your head from side to side just to make sure you get all of the areas of your hair. This process does take a while. <laughs> and that's it, diffused. It's not 100% dry and with my hair, as it dries, it tends to get a little bit more fluffier and a bit bigger. But here it is at a better angle. As you guys can see, the curls are coming through. If you want to see how I deal with day two curly hair and what I do to refresh it once I've slept with it in a pineapple for a while, then keep watching because I've got a little vlog style bit coming up. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace. So I'm not actually at home right now. I'm back to see my mum for Mother's Day. And this is day two curly hair. So I slept with this pineapple. And now I'm gonna take it out and show you guys what it looks like. Be careful not to stretch your curls, so be careful when 
taking out your hairband. I don't use a regular one, I've got one of these um, invisibobble type things. I just like to shake my hair, flick it back. And when I first take it out, it looks like this. It's not great, but rather than panic or cry at how bad your hair looks, just give it a bit of a shake. Just remember it's been in that pineapple for many, many hours. I normally like to go and do the rest of my makeup and then come back and I'll show you guys how it's settled. I won't put any other product in it. We'll just let it sit back to how it would naturally fall. So I've popped on a little bit of makeup and it has settled a little bit. See, it's not as bad as when I initially took it out, but it's still not perfect. So I could do one of two things. I could just leave it or you could just refresh it. I'm going to use this water bottle that I picked up from Amazon. It's just got water in it, nothing else. And um, I'm literally just going to mist my hair. There's already product in it from yesterday's wash and the water should just help reactivate it. And then praying hand motions. And just scrunch. I've just moved to the bathroom because there's better lighting here so excuse the echoing but this is day two after I've popped in some water just to refresh it. No other products in my hair and it doesn't look that bad. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did and if you've got any curly tips for me then leave them in the comments below and any girls out there who straighten their hair, just embrace, embrace your natural hair type. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.